So here's one thing that's being done about my cardiomyopathy for those of you who watched the last video. Uh, here in a few days uh, I will be having a what's called a bivalve intracardiac defibrillator implanted. This type of defibrillator uh, can serve somewhat as a pacemaker in that uh, it's able to synchronize the ventricles of my heart. For those of you who don't know, the human heart is a four-chambered muscle. It has two upper chambers, which are known as atria, and two lower chambers, which are known as ventricles. Sorry, ventricles. Uh, those ventricles, in my case, are out of synchronization. They don't beat in the proper order and sequence that they should beat. Uh, this this defibrillator will help to synchronize them, which will help to increase the ejection fraction, see the last video, and should be able to increase the amount of oxygen to my brain, which will hopefully let me feel better and able to function better in life. And this, this device will also be able to, um, should be able to restore my heart rhythm should I experience arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is when the heart starts to basically not beat at all. Well, what, what, what typically happens first is something called PEA, pulseless electrical activity, where the heart technically is, is, is quivering and it has electrical activity, but not in the purposeful way that it is supposed to. It's, it's moving, but basically, basically the heart is having a seizure at that point. It's moving in a jerky, non-coordinated way, about like my hand is moving right now, and it's not doing any good. At that point, the first thing the person does is all of a sudden they have no oxygen to their brain and they simply pass out. Um, it's not something that the person experiences pain beforehand, like a heart, like a myocardial infarction. Um, they just, and especially with people with cardiomyopathy, they just all of a sudden will have this PEA and then what they call arrhythmia, which means lack of heart rhythm. So the heart might be, you know, quivering or it might be doing nothing. It might just stop. Um, this defibrillator will be able to shock the heart and should be able to restore my heart function should I uh, experience arrhythmia. So it'll be good uh, in terms of being able to improve my heart function, potentially prolong my time on earth. Um, this is something I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's It'll be a surgery where uh, I will be laid up for a while. I don't know exactly the recovery process yet, but I've got the best cardiologist in town, uh, third generation physician, and he definitely recommended this. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. it. It should have happened months ago, except for our wonderful best friend, the COVID-19, uh, well, COVID-19. And um, so that'll be happening soon. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, one thing about this, uh, I've always been a science fiction guy. Uh, with when a person has a a device implanted in them, especially a device that has some kind of an electrical or, or computing component to it implanted within their body, that either helps them to gain function or restores their health that person technically at that point becomes a cyborg. That's not just a science fiction term, it's actually something true. Um, you might know some other people who had defibrillators. I knew some people that had defibrillators that I didn't even know had defibrillators. So people do walk around with normal lives or as much as there is normal anymore. Um, people do walk around as cyborgs with basically normal lives. So probably someone you know. So yeah, I'll be a cyborg uh, effective soon. Uh, looking forward to a little bit longer life. Maybe even a lot longer life, we'll see. But um, I <clears throat> really don't have any nerves about it. I, I did for a while, but then one of the questions that I had was answered. I, I kind of want to keep that personal. But, but yeah, so anyway, that's something I have coming up soon. I uh, would appreciate your prayers, good thoughts, good intentions, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you like what you've seen so far on my channel, please do like and subscribe or leave a comment. Um, I will be adding more videos soon and uh, hopefully pushing this channel uh, upward and onward. Thanks.